Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to make some decisions together with you guys about um, what eyeshadows I'm going to be working on next year um, for my panda palette or whatever project I will be doing. Um, I've kind of been thinking this over a little bit and because I still have two palettes left which I know I'm not going to be finishing off um, as I'm sure you guys all know I've got this palette which still has a black and a silver right here and then I've got the Glamour to Go palette and I've still got some colors left in here as well a black, a darker blue, a pink that came from that other palette actually um, still got some tiny bit of gold in here as well the bronzy shade and then a green kind of more glittery shade um, I still got two months so I'm gonna finish some of these off still but there will be some left again and I felt like if I keep adding palettes uh, for a panda palette on for next year I might just be like just creating this whole heap of palettes and I'm trying to work through um, so for next year I was kind of thinking to do a pandas eyeshadows which of course we've all seen from a lot of people but Alexi was the original uh, person that started this um, and it kind of seemed like a good idea to me but of course I don't need you guys to help me make that decision if I've kind of already made that decision I was thinking to kind of do like a mini panda palette next to that one to like with some colors that would be easy to incorporate with the colors that I pick and I've picked three options so I'm going to show you those um, so you can hopefully help me decide which products we're going to be working with also as you can see I'm in a different location I kind of felt like trying something different my husband is out for the weekend and I actually was able to go into our living room there is backlight though so I don't know how you guys feel about that but I feel like this this thing kind of is nice and cozy to uh, be filming from anyway so the first option that I have is this uh, bourgeois smoky eye trio it's only three shadows so it's not too much that's what I thought let me just give you guys a little bit of a close-up so it has kind of a highlighty color it has a medium brown color and it has a darker brown color and because these are so neutral I thought these might be really easy to incorporate with anything um, they go with anything they're like slightly baked so it will probably take me a little bit longer to work through but that's fine because it's only three um, so this one is one that I'm heavily considering um, then I have one that you guys have seen because this was one of my possible picks for last year this is the Catrice what's the name the seasons must have um, eyeshadow quattro and this one also has some more neutral colors as you can see kind of got a champagne color I've got a cool tone blue greenish aqua color this is a lighter well I guess medium gray and this one I know it looks black right here but I made a little swatch for you guys so you can see it a little bit better it's kind of a purpley plum type color so this one is definitely an option as well um, it's more cool toned than the other one the other one has more warmer tones but I feel like these colors will um, kind of work okay with other palettes as well it's a nice portable palette it's not too big it's not too small I have a big highlighter in here which could be nice because I have no idea if the eyeshadows that I'm gonna pick even work as a highlight shade um, and the other ones I could possibly incorporate um, I love this plum color right here but also like the cooler tones maybe are not like my best friend because warmer tones just look better on me I think um, so yeah it's an option but maybe from the way I'm telling you guys you can see that I'm a little bit more heavily considering the other one just kind of wanted to hear your thoughts though because this one has been in my collection for a while and then lastly we've got this one this one is LA colors and as you can see these also have like warmer tones in them so this is what that one looks like they're all slightly shimmery shades I've got a yellow orange a slightly darker brown uh, like medium brown here as well and then kind of a purpley plummy shade as well so in a way this might be a little bit of a mix between those other two but with warmer tones I know that this one is quite powdery so it would be kind of consistency wise it would be different from this one and even though it's five colors I think these two would kind of go at the same speed in a way um, also this one I've had for a while like these colors probably also just go well with everything I've got some really neutral tones I've got a little bit more of something that I can play with but then again I could get these types of colors in other palettes but the browns I can 
probably always incorporate with anything. I kind of feel like the other ones would work as well, but yeah, this is one that is definitely worth considering as well because these are very neutral colors that should work with everything. So I've got three palettes that I'm considering at the moment to kind of do a mini panda palette with alongside the pandas eyeshadows. Um, because I think it should be easy enough to incorporate at least a few more shadows. I probably need some like more neutral tones because possibly I get a palette that is completely like circus-like. Uh, different colors and everything so it would be nice to have something that I know I can always use with them that I'm also working on um, but yeah that is it for today I'm uh, looking forward to hearing from you guys what you guys' thoughts are and I hope to see you in one of my next videos bye for now